So I was in the mood to film something but I'm a little bit sick at the minute and I didn't really know what I wanted to film and then a terrifying experience happened and it's been something I've been debating about doing for a while so I thought I would share with you today my terrifying spider stories. Now in case you guys do not know I live in Australia and I'm absolutely petrified of spiders which as you can probably guess does not mix well. So I have come across a fair few spiders in my lifetime and each time has definitely been an experience. Now these are only going to be some of my spider stories stories so after watching this video you still want to see more videos like this let me know I definitely have more spider stories to tell or just like generally sitting down and just chatting with you guys I feel like that's something I would like to start to do so let me know if you'd be interested in any topics you'd like me to talk about I want to start doing other things too on this channel a little bit I don't know I just want to do what I want to do does that make sense but I really want to do it if you guys want to watch so let me know anyway we are here for the terrifying spider stories so as a warning beforehand if you don't like spiders and you don't like hearing about them them. maybe don't watch this video. So I can't remember the first time I became frightened of spiders but I remember my first experience with them. I was very young I reckon I would have been about two years old and there was a daddy long legs and I was frightened and so I went to my dad and I said dad there's a daddy long legs you know I was frightened and he got the book that I was currently reading because back then even then I was still a bookworm and I got the book I was currently reading and he went up to the spider and he squashed the spider with the book on the page that I was reading and then he gave the book back to me. Now yes the spider was dead now but when I opened up that book the spider was dead squashed inside and that was horrifying for me. My poor book had been wrecked by this dead spider's mangled body and it was horrifying. And that's one of the first memories of a spider that's really stuck with me. My fear of spiders only grew though when I was a little bit older and we went to my aunt and uncle's place and all the grown ups were in the kitchen and they kind of just left us in the lounge room to watch TV. We didn't know how to change the channel. I think it was just me. I can't remember if there was any other children. I think my brother would have had to be around but I wasn't sure where he was or if he was in the grown ups. I don't remember that. I just remember being my, myself watching this movie and I wasn't sure if I was allowed to change the channel or anything so I kind of had to sit down and a movie popped up and it turned on and I watched Arachnophobia as a very young child which if you do not know is a movie about these people who go to an island from memory and there's this big spider there and it kills people and this spider is massive and it eats them. Now obviously this just led to my fear of spiders just growing. I've always wondered maybe I should go back and watch that movie maybe it wouldn't be so bad now and maybe it would help with my fear of spiders but then I think mmm better not. So that's where my kind of fear of spiders kind of stemmed from. Now I've lived in a couple of places around Australia and I've noticed a couple of things. Spiders are most present in summertime. In Victoria where I live currently you get a lot of the littlest spiders like daddy long legs just generally house spiders and everything like that. Where in Queensland you won't get so much get daddy long legs and things like that as much. You will get though the big ones, the big massive ones. You do get the big ones here but I've just noticed they're a little bit more present in Queensland. This is all for my experience experience so we were living at Queensland at the time and I was in my bedroom on my bed the doors are closed and I was reading a book again with the books I know and I was having a great old time just lying on my bed and I look up for some reason and I see crawling under my door a massive huntsman this huntsman would have had to be about this big it was a pretty big massive thing I was lying on my bed and I quickly like bolted up and I screamed so loudly and I think it was late at night and younger sister had only just been born I remember she was just a baby at the time and so I'd woken her up she was crying mum was angry at me for waking her up and she said I had to deal with the spider now I was stuck in my bedroom the door was closed the spider was in here on the floor my bed was there the door was there and the spider was in the middle there I was trapped what was I to do no one was gonna help me it was up to me and I knew that I had to get the fly spray which was in the kitchen which meant having to get out of my bedroom I wasn't going to squash it with a shoe. I can't do that. It freaks me out. I think for some reason the spiders are just going to eat the way through the shoe and then come up and kill me. So like I'm not about squashing spiders that way. So my only option was to get this fly spray. So at this point I'm standing up on the bed. I'm freaking out. I'm trying not to scream because I don't want to make mum more angry at me. And I'm like petrified. I'm shaking. I'm crying. And I know that I have to get out of this bedroom to get this fly spray. So I turn to my inner ninja and I do this big leap from on top of the bed to the door open up the door and run outside I run straight to the kitchen and come back and I creep towards and I see the spider there and it's like making its way and it's looking like it's going to go under the bed and that can't happen obviously because then I would lose a spider in my bedroom and that's not gonna happen so I make this big leap again on top of my bed so I'm on top of the bed so the spider can't get to me too easily but I have the upper advantage here got the fly spray in hand and I start 
spraying. Now this fly spray was only you at the time. It was like a full can, all right? And I start spraying and the spider scurries and it luckily doesn't scurry under the bed, which would have been horrifying. Instead, it started scurrying outside the room. So I'm like edging, like I'm not getting off the bed, right? Because the spider is still down there. But I'm like spraying from the bed, like reaching, like freaking out, crying. And the spider's turning white and it gets to the hallway. So luckily it's out of my bedroom at this time and it starts, you know, slowly stops moving and then it just kind of curls up and everything. But I'm still spraying because like, I don't want this thing to be tricking me and then for it to come back alive and pounce on me. So I'm just spraying and spraying and spraying until finally I realize that I've used the whole can up. And the spider is just this white, like you can't see anything else. This spider is now white. So I do another ninja leap, run past the dead spider's body, get the like little brush pencil and like sweep up. Oh, I hate doing that. And I tip it into the bin. Another big spider experience happened to me in Queensland again. And I think I went to go check the mail or something and it was just mum and me at home. Mum is also scared of spiders. I wouldn't say she's as scared as me. I think I'm the one that is most scared of spiders in my family, but she still doesn't like them. And so we had a wooden door and then a fly screw door as you often do. And I opened up the wooden door to go outside to check the mailbox. And I went to put my hands on the wire handle door because obviously that like that's how I was gonna get out. And I looked down at the handle and like curled up on the handle is again, another massive huntsman. And it's huge. And I scream and I pounce back and I move my hand away and I'm like freaking the fudge out. I slam shut the wooden door and I'm like, mom, 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 there's like a big huntsman on the door. And she's like, what? And so she comes and has a look and she opens up and she screams and she flies back the door. And so now I realize if we're trapped inside here, none of us are gonna deal with that big spider. Like we're not dealing with it. I wasn't certainly gonna deal with it. Mum wasn't gonna deal with it. And it was just us home. I think we also had my little baby, maybe brother and sister at home at the time, but obviously they weren't gonna do anything either. About half an hour later, we hear her. And I'm like, mum, I can't answer that. I'm not going to answer it. And so she calls out to this person, can you come through the garage? Because we had a garage and we'll let you in that way. And anyway, I don't know who this guy was, whether it was just a random door knocker. He was a delivery man. I don't know who he was, but he was like, yeah, sure. And so we let him in through the garage. He obviously spoke to us about what he had to speak to us about. I don't know at the time. And I told him why we couldn't open the door. And he said, oh, I'll get rid of it for you. And I was like, praise God. Hallelujah. So he opens up the wide door because the spider is on like our side. So he can open up from the outside and then there's a spider and then he kills it. And it was absolutely horrifying though because I was so close to touching the thing and it just freaked me out. Another spider experience I had is we just moving into our first home, me and my partner together. And it was the first night in our new home and it was obviously really nice. You know, it was really good. I just come out of the shower and my partner says to me, you know, I've wrapped my towel around me. I start drying myself and my partner says to me, go out of the bathroom and he goes just go to the bedroom don't look back and I'm like what and he's just like go down don't look back and I'm like okay and so I start walking back and I'm like this is really weird like why doesn't he want me to look back and you know when you're told not to do something and you just want to do it that was me at the time and so I've gotten to the bathroom turn and I turn and I look back and right near the shower probably about 30 centimeters from where my head was was this massive huntsman on the window the window had been left open and that huntsman must have crawled through and it was there and I screamed and I ran and I ran on top of our bed and I jumped up and down just in my towels, like apart from my towels, completely naked. And I was jumping up and down, screaming. And my partner also doesn't like spiders. But obviously if one of us is gonna deal with a spider, it's gonna be him. And all I hear is him like swearing, trying to kill this massive spider. I'm screaming, jumping on the top of the bed. And it was just, it was a nightmare. And we lived in that house. We've only just moved from it. And we lived in that house for maybe like two years. I'm not sure. I'm not very good with time. And I never opened that window again. Sometimes my partner's parents would come and they'd be like, oh, come up here, open this window a bit no and I'd close it that window was not opening ever again because that's how the huntsman got in last time and I was not gonna have another repeat experience of that there was another time where I'd also just recently come out of the shower and I needed to go to the toilet so obviously I was naked and I went to go to the toilet and there on the toilet wall is this maybe this spider about this big black spider and I screamed it had obviously you know seen me naked and I went back to our room and I'm like Jesus is a spider but he was just like fast asleep and he wasn't waking and I was like Shoot, I can't really wake him like I'm gonna have to deal with this I'm gonna have to be the grown up here and kill it like it was like three o'clock at night I didn't want to wake him up so I thought you know what I can deal with this right so I put my towel around myself and I'm like okay I can deal with this right and I just start pacing and like I've got the toilet door open so I can see this spider and I can check that it's not moving I just start pacing for like five minutes like trying to work up the courage and I get the fly spray in my hand and I'm pacing because obviously I can't let the spider live it's gonna be my house it's seen me naked like rude for one 
one and I have to kill it. I keep doubling back to the bedroom making sure that my partner hasn't awoken so you now if he's awoken then obviously I can get him to kill it but I can't wake him. But no he's still fast asleep and so I'm like shit I'm gonna have to deal with this. I get the fly spray and I shake it and as you meant to shake it before you use and I shaked it like I've got a billion times just trying to work up the courage just to do it and then I, I sprayed it and it like kind of like you know how they fall? They fall back and started scurrying towards me and I did this little dance as I'm like scurrying, I'm like spraying, spraying, spraying. And luckily it died. Again, I used a full can. If you ever are gonna leave me home alone with a spider and fly spray that whole fly spray can, there'll be none left because I'm not like leaving anything to chance. The last spider story that I'm gonna share with you today, I have so many more I could tell you. Some of them are very horrifying, but was today. And today wasn't that horrifying. It was just basically what had happened. Now I've got a pile we just had like a power edge just for a second and the beep and the thing splashed and I just thought the spiders are coming for me. They're going to kill me. Anyway, it was today and I've got a pile of books here that I'm wanting to sell. Someone posted, you know, to swap and I thought I would take a photo of them, you know, obviously so I could sell them. And so I picked up the books and I bought them through over to my desk and I started arranging them and which thing and I pulled out one of the books and I realized that I touched something that wasn't, like it didn't feel right and I looked down and there on this book was this dead spider and I had touched it. It was like about this, this big, so a decent size. It was like, not like curled up like normally how spiders bodies go, that it was like all flat. And so for a second I thought it was alive and I jumped back and I was like, <gasps> <sighs> because it was, it looked alive, it just wasn't moving. And I touched it and it was a nasty thing. Nasty. And I, I started shaking and crying. I realized pretty soon that it was dead and I got the bus out of travel and I, you know, threw it out in the bin, but it's just, I touched it, and even though it was dead, it's happened, and I touched a spider today, and it was horrifying, I hated it, I shaked, and like, I cried for like five minutes. But also I'm terrified because the dead spider was about probably about 30 centimeters away from where I'm sitting currently, where I'm talking to you guys. And it looked like a baby, like it was like a medium sized spider, but it definitely didn't look fully grown. So that generally means that there's probably parents around here somewhere. And so I've been freaking out all day. And when my partner gets home tomorrow, I'm gonna get him to surface spray the whole household because this is the second spider experience that I've had uh, in this past week in this house. The other one was like, this is nasty little red one but you can hear about that another time if you want to but yeah I just thought I would share my terrifying spider experiences with you obviously I don't like spiders I'm a big wuss when it comes to them I know I am but I do try my hardest and I do try and like woman up and kill them but I just I don't deal well with spiders at all and honestly I am still freaking out like I went and washed my hands for like half the nail while just trying and it, it was with this hand I touched it and I just Oh, like you know how you touch something and you realize it's not right and oh that moment when your heart just stops if it had been alive I honestly don't know what I would have done honestly because it was a pretty big thing it was right near me like I oh. I'd like to say that I would have been able to deal with it, but sometimes I'm just like not good, especially if I've touched something, like I can't, I can't deal with it. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Let me know in the comments below if you've had any terrifying spider experiences. I'd love to hear them. Probably not because you're probably gonna give me nightmares, but let me know anyway. Also let me know, as I said, if this is something that you would like me to continue in a way. I don't know, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.